Hey everyone, I've got a project today. So my kids go to a pre-K co-op, and this is basically a program through a local university where parents can self-organize a pre-K school. We have a real teacher, we all pay dues, and it's a little bit cheaper than a typical preschool. However, one of the trade-offs is that we all have to be involved in the day-to-day -day operations and maintenance of this pre-K school. Now recently, some of that playground equipment started becoming a little worse for the wear. So I brought one piece of it home and we're gonna rebuild it. This isn't going to be the end of cleaning up this playground, but it was the smallest, simplest thing that I could tackle while I have all this other stuff going on. So this is what we're working with right now. And it's just a very, very simple balance beam. Now the person who originally built this used these lag type screws. This introduced some splitting without the use of a washer and it didn't go all the way through the bottom side. So they pulled out over time. I'm planning on replacing these with carriage bolts and washers on both sides. As well, I think will improve the overall stability of the entire structure. Now this is a very simple DIY project, so I wanted to share it just in case it's something you might consider building in your backyard. So the basic setup here that we have is three four and a half feet four by four sections and four 18 inch sections. Now this piece is split pretty bad and I don't think I wanna reuse it. As well, I have a few of these where the bolts were simply sunk too far in and I don't think it's worth wrestling with it. I can just use these for ground contact whenever I build my next firewood rack. So that means we have to pick up some treated 4x4s. I also have to figure out the sizing that I'm going to need for carriage bolts to replace these. They're going to have to be galvanized for outside use with recessing them. I think 6 inch carriage bolts should do it. Now the cut list for this is very simple three four by fours, about four and a half feet long, and another four that are 18 inches long. I've also picked up six galvanized nuts and bolts. The bolts are about six inches long. And with those, 12 washers that are about an inch in diameter and accept whatever bolt size you pick. So I was about to go buy a four by four when I realized I still had this redwood four by four from when I built my bench. Now remember, always use the appropriate tool for the job. Alright, that's it. It really is that simple of a project. Now I know treated 4x4s aren't the cheapest, so you might expect to pay, I would say maybe about $80 in materials, but I think if I were to build this from scratch, I would try to do it from the redwood, just from the get-go. I'm not a big fan of treated, however I was trying to save money for the co-op board on this, so I was reusing some old scrap material that I already had, rather than buying and adding more treated 4x4s. Now I already know that the kids love this thing, that's why I was asked to fix it, and I feel like I've definitely added a few more years onto its lifespan. I was originally going to do some sort of weather coat, but I decided against it for now. We're gonna see how it holds up this winter and possibly rebuild it from scratch next year. This is a super simple project, and I think any one of you could do it with a drill and a saw. All right, everyone, thank you for watching. I know this was a really simple build, but if you're just looking for a DIY project you can do in your backyard for your kids, this is it. There's not much simpler than this. A drill and a way to cut boards 
and you're golden. Outside of a drill and a saw, the only things I think you need to do this project is a paddle bit, a drill bit, and a socket. So I'll see you in later. I'm gonna get back to work on the shop.